Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the video. And what I'm looking at today is a care package that I just received in the mail from my friend and fellow YouTuber, Larkin's Lair. If you didn't know, Larkin not only does figure reviews on YouTube, he has an Etsy shop where he makes some fantastic upgrade sets for your modern Transformer figures. Now the sets he included in my care package was an upgrade set for my Generation 2 Starscream, Studio Series 86 Perceptor, Legacy Core Class Skywarp, and Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. So now, without further ado, let's get these upgrade sets opened up and get them attached to their figures. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now the first add-on we're going to take a look at is for G2 Starscream, and by G2 Starscream, I mean your Earthrise or Studio Series 86 Starscream that you converted to G2 thanks to Toy Hacks. And this is a set I'm really proud of because I gave Toy Hacks the idea for this, and they even made my name a decal. Now, if you recall, the original G2 Starscream had a sound box that attached to the back of the figure. You press a button, it will light up and make noise. Now, Larkin's here does not light up or make noise, but it is highly detailed to look pretty much exactly like the original Generation 2 accessory. Now, there is some assembly required with this set. You've got these little treads that you attach via these peg holes. We've got one attached already, but as you can see, it's a simple procedure right there. And there you have the sound box. And how you attach this to Starscream is you flip out this little peg right here and it attaches to his back. And there you go. So now with Toy Hex decals and Larkin's accessory, that looks very, very Generation 2. And what's cool is these little sections right here that I just put on a while ago are tank treads. So if you have Starscream in robot mode, you can have the tank rolling around like a little drone. And what Larkin has also added is that this little tank here is blast effect compatible. So we got a couple blast effects right here. So there's one. And there's the other. So now you got the little tank opening fire. Now this is a recolor of a set that Larkin made earlier for Generation 2 Ramjet. So both of these options are available on his Etsy shop, and I do believe he made a black one for G2 Sandstorm. So there you go, there is the tank drone sound box. Next up is the accessory set for Studio Series 86 Perceptor. And this set includes two gap fillers for the forearms, a gap filler for the back, and a missile and missile launcher. So first thing, let's take a look at the gap filler for the back. If you have this figure, he has this unsightly gap on his back, but you know, that's where his head goes for transformation. But thanks to Larkin, he's got this little piece right here, pegs right into that hole, covers up that unsightly gap, and all you have to do is rotate it down for transformation, covers Perceptor's face right up. So that is awesome. Next up, we'll take a look at the forearm fillers right here. And these pretty easy to install. You just lay them over the gap there where the fist is, peg them in, and they actually lock in nice and tight. Now for transformation, you'll take these gap fillers and when you open up the legs, when you turn them into microscope mode, these gap fillers fit into this section right here. Let me see if I can get it 
hard to do this on camera. But there you go. You want to make sure the little two dots are facing toward the inside of the leg. So that way you can use use those both for robot and microscope microscope mode. Micro soap. That's funny. Okay, next up is the launcher and missile. And if you didn't know, the original Generation 1 Perceptor did have a launcher and missile. And this is modeled after that. If I can get everything on camera. So there you go, right there. Let me get G1 out of the way. And what's cool is this will fit right in Perceptor's hand. So you can do this a couple of different ways. You've got the launcher right here and it is blast effect compatible. So it looks like he's launched the missile. You could also attach the missile into the launcher like so to really complete that G1 look. And if you wanted to, this does this is blast effect compatible as well so now the missile is launching something i guess firing off his warhead so there you go guys there is the upgrade set for studio series 86 perceptor absolutely love that back panel next up is the upgrade set for legacy core class skywarp and if you bought a core class skywarp like everyone else, you were probably very disappointed that he came with his tuning fork of despair instead of his weapons that attach to his arm. So I don't care if you had to build the master sword or what, this little piece sucks. He needed his weapons and that's where Larkin comes in. And these look really good, modeled after Kingdom Core Class Starscream's weapons. They'll attach right up here on top of the arm on the shoulder rather if I can get it pegged in it's got little three millimeter plugs plugged right into his shoulders and man that looks so much better and the collar matches perfectly so now Skywarp looks a lot better alongside Kingdom Starscream so now we just await core class Thundercracker and see what kind of weird weapon he comes with so there you go, there is the upgrade set for Core Class Skywar. And lastly, we have the upgrade set for Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. And this set includes one handheld blaster and four gap fillers. Now taking a quick look at the blaster, I love this. This looks so good. It is modeled after the original G2 Laser Optimus Prime blaster. Now this blaster here belongs to R.I.D. Scourge, but it's the same thing as you can tell. So if you have a Laser Optimus Prime, you know the turret weapon could double as his handheld blaster, and that thing just looks pathetic. So we'll go ahead and put this new blaster in Prime's hand, and it looks so much better. And actually it has a extra peg right there, so he can dual wield it, or not dual wield it, I hold it with both hands, but I like it like that. That is awesome. And let's see, is it blast effect compatible? It sure is. So that is awesome. And I forgot to show, I just realized, Core Class Skywarp's Null Rays, or blasters, or whatever they are, they are blast effect compatible, but the blast effects don't fit over the little peg right here. You are going to have to force them up just a little bit to stay in place. But yes, that does work. Now moving on to the gap fillers. These go on the back of Optimus Prime's legs right here. So we'll go ahead and grab this, this one here, which goes on this leg. You can kind of see how these line up. Now this pegs right, there's a peg right there, it pegs into that first hole right there below the knee. So get that one attached and in flush. And now we've got the second little piece and see the little notch right there? That goes along the notch on the hole. So you match that up and then just push that into place as well. Gives you a nice tight fit, doesn't affect transformation whatsoever 
and looks so much better. So yes, that is awesome. Larkin, thank you so much. And there you have the upgrade set for Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. I have to give a huge shout out to Larkin's Lair for creating these awesome upgrade sets for these figures. You definitely improve the looks of my Transformers. I love the blaster for Perceptor and Prime. The guns for Skywarp were a must have and that G2 sound box looks awesome on my Toy Hack Starscream. Now if you guys would like to pick up some of these items for yourself, I do have a link to Larkin's Etsy store in the description of this video. These items are made in the USA and they ship fast. So once again, big thank you to Larkin's Lair. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! <laughs>